Alright, 10 hours until dawn. Oh, well, this guy's already here right away. I think Knife Guy is my favorite character so far. Hannah's best friend. Oh, you must be broken off over what happened to her. Hello? Well, you're not really your best friend anymore. She doesn't Someone have a there? lot to have friends. Sam, do you miss Hannah? Oh wow, that's cold. Alright, let's look around. I can use the right stick to I already knew that. I figured it out on my own. Thanks. It's busted. Climb over. Damn it. Maybe I don't believe you. Oh, oh! It made me oh, thrust the controller forward. I like stuff like that. I'm a sucker for stupid gimmicks. Uh, let's go. Let's go the quick way. Uh, oh, okay, all right, I'll jump. Ooh, I almost missed it. That was close. I wonder how those choices are going to affect the future. <laughs> all right. So the game is very kind in a way that when the scene's over, it puts a little analog Aww. stick hey, just to let you know that you're back in control. You hungry? Okay, this is okay. Huh? I could don't move or I could shake the controller rapidly. Damn it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Come on back, little buddy. Come on back. Can we find? <laughs> All right, is, is the all right? The game's okay. just gonna keep doing it until I That's get it right. It. Come on. <laughs> all right, I'm holding it still. <laughs> oh, can I press R one to look at the thing? Oh, it just brings this up. Head to the cable car station. Oh, look, I can I can move her head around in this menu. Hey, baby. Are you looking at me? Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. Alright, so this kind of tells you what, like before, I had that uh, that death totem thing and it was black. It meant death, so let's see here. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesize the dreamer's death. Red warns of dangerous events. Oh. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Yellow butterflies, visions of help that guide. White butterflies, 
butterflies. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Those sound good. I think I want it. I just want white. Just give me whites. Oh, here's one right now. It will journey will reveal a colored butterfly and a premonition of the possible future. Alright, so R2 to pick this bad boy up. Then I'm gonna look at it. No, I'm not. Should I look at it? Maybe I'll just take a little peek. No, I'm too afraid. Oh, well, let me turn away. Okay, a bird flew off of a thing. future is uncertain. The prophecy is me. Oh, bye bird. Oh, I'm just looking around. Oh, what's this? The past is beyond our control. I'm pretty sure this door is locked. Let's just check this door. It's not a door. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? I'm going to close the bag because I'm a decent person. All right, so that means it changed the narrative of the game. Sam, hey, you made it. And I'm pretty sure I know how it made the change, and I'll talk about that when it comes up. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. I don't know, buddy. What's this? Wanted! Oh, man. Look at this. Nice. Uh, wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. Anyone oh, with information on. regarding this dangerous man, criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Const Constabulary. Police Monte Provincial de Black. Oh, that's just the French. Is this in Canada? Why would there be a f French as well? All right. All right. There's a mystery man. This is my new clue. Great. In case I ever want to look at the thing I just looked at, I have the option. To Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. Alright, let's do some hunting and killing. Oh gosh, this aiming's weird. Okay. Before you just move the crosshair around with the right analog stick, now I gotta move with the controller. Actually, it doesn't feel all that bad. Actually, it feels it feels fine. Wow, nice super tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh yeah, because I'm sure a squirrel would come around after hearing all that noise.
I'm not gonna shoot the squirrel. I'm a better man than that. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Okay, so it wasn't obvious. My dad chose to shoot the squirrel when he played. She got super pissed about it. She was like, that's just effed up, man. That's sick. You're crazy. And he was like, sorry, it's just a squirrel. They're like rats with bushy tails. And that was it. it I have not examined this as him. Now we have both seen it. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. You yeah. already knew that. I examined the door. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. What people? I I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. That is pretty creepy. That's for you. Oh, real gentleman. You must be really hard on Josh. I I don't know how he keeps it all together. I, I mean, I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. He must be going through so much, and he seems. What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. They only bought a mountain. That sounds really rich to me. <sighs> and I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this going to take? Well, you know what? When I first played through this, I noticed that that first screen changes, but I couldn't quite make out what it was. But I absolutely recognized what it was that time. You're going to publish? What? Your pretty poem. The Sleeping Giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, shut up. Huh? I'm staring at the screen and nothing's changing. Is just looking at the lodge. So if I remember, I mean, if you didn't notice what it was, and I'd be t I totally understand if you didn't. I'll point out what that, what the, what the first room that camera was looking at when we get to it. All right, I guess I'm getting in here. I'm just like going to the prom. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. What an amazing if story. Back, Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a train bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, that's a gimmick in the game, isn't it? You're not supposed to talk about it. Don't talk about game gimmicks. Breaking the fourth wall. Oh, 
Oh, it's Mike's new girlfriend. Who was Mike again? Oh, Mike was the guy that was like, hey, want to make out? And then everyone laughed at what's her face. Boy. Okay. Time to meet and greet. Gotta look around. Gotta look around for secrets. A lot of collectibles, and I don't think there's a lot of revisiting in this. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna hover my hand over this button. Completely ruin the cinematic moment. Yep. Nah, I guess I'll do it. Fine. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. That simple, eh? All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Yeah, it's a really pretty skybox. get to just stop. They probably had off. artists working on it for minutes. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like Assuming right they didn't the just cable car ends? Buy it. Oh, it's Emily. Okay, this is the girl that I thought was the most attractive just because she doesn't look as generic as everyone else. But she's kind of a bitch. Anyways, yeah, the the thing that just happened where uh what's his name took the letter and was teasing her about it earlier in the game when I had the option to look at that guy's phone or do up his bag, what he does is he catches you looking at his phone. And he's like, wow, that's kind of rude. And then during that scene, she's like, hey, don't look at this personal thing of mine. He's like, oh, I learned from Sam. So that was really the, that was the small change that that made. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. And Matt is Emily's new boyfriend. And I guess I should be oh. jealous of Matt. And where's the he's with the prettiest girl. I guess I'm the fucking bellboy. I'm carrying all your shit. Chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Yeah. Definitely not gonna. Yeah, it's like weird seeing party. your friends. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, Mike, you prankster. Remember that time a prank of yours got someone killed? That's crazy. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. I guess I'll be nice. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. 
You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Yeah, and if you choose to be threatening, oh crap! He gets all uppity. What? Hey, and kind of leaves like take a douchebag. The rest of the way. The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt. Please. Matt, please. No, I'm not gonna let you go alone. You'll you'll die. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Oh, Why wow, can't you come just on. listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Yeah, based on that exchange, they split up either way. So many status updates. What is this? My fucking Facebook news feed? I'm not gonna remember who likes who and who's dating who. I haven't been to high school for years. I can't be expected to remember this shit. Oh, oh I'm looking Whoa, at. Oh, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Oh. Drama's getting all heated up. Oh, whoa, Christ! <laughs> hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, wow. Well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. I don't know. Yeah, you know what? You need to know. Um, I, I can't let a brother. Sure, uh, go, go ahead. Can't let a brother deal with that. Yes. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... Damn it, Matt. Yeah, my dad chose to hide it when we played through it. I'm not, and you actually, it asks you twice, like, are you sure you want to pretend it's broken? But, I, I don't like lying. I don't like lying, it sucks. So I'm not gonna lie to anyone. Uh, I'm gonna read a book. My dad chose phone. I would have made this decision either way. Choosing a book. <laughs> oh, you clearly it doesn't make do a that. difference. It was like, it changed What's the animation. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, I'm gonna grab that fucking snowball. You're dead. You're dead, buddy. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, 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 when I get him. Oh, oh fucking eat it. <laughs> hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Oh, oh, no, 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 oh, there. Oh, ah! Hey! Oh, square, oh, okay, I wasn't aiming at anything that time. <laughs> Hello, come on. <laughs> hey, Mike. Boom, shakalaka. Okay. Now you got me. Sure <laughs> this guy's gonna freeze to death. I'm gonna bury him in snow. 
Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing you to do. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all. And you know what? That death totem showed a bird flying away from the bench. So I'm gonna let it fly away from the bench. I'm gonna, cause it, it was like a good one, right? Oh, now you're mine. Oh no, I can't quite. Oh, uh, I don't think I got it. Ooh, I can dodge it though. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> gotcha. Done. Done. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Yeah, I'll give him a kiss. My dad failed most of the prompts. So that guy was pretty much like, yeah, I totally kicked your ass. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <laughs> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you fail all the prompts and hit him with a snowball, that scene goes a little more sourly. Where, I mean, like, I kissed him, and, you know, things got a little hot, and they're very fond of each other, clearly, but if it went the other way around... She's pretty much like, yeah, you're kind of an idiot. Let's just go. Things went way better that time. Hello again. Hello, Dr. Hill. And how are we feeling? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good. I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Who says I have any anxiety? Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Sure. Uh, women worry me, for sure. And turn the page. Play. Oh, I definitely don't like crowds. Fuck off with crowds. Oh, oh this one's tough. I don't, I'm not really afraid of heights. I'm afraid of falling. Drowning's no good. You know, let, let's go with drowning. That that sounds like the stronger of two evils. Uh, well, snakes for sure. Way scarier than rats. He's just diligently taking his notes. Uh, knives are scary. I mean, guns generally, you know, you shoot someone and they die pretty quickly. Knives, you can do... You can suffer for a long time under a knife. At least that's my reasoning. Uh, oh, that's tough. Hmm. I still think snakes might be scarier. I mean, cockroaches are scarier looking, but I understand that they can do way less damage than a snake could. So let's be reasonable. Oh. Hmm. You know what? I mean, that picture of a frown is pretty fright- or that picture of a clown is pretty frightening. But generally, I don't find clowns scary. Scarecrows, however, a little more scary. Uh, oh, I mean, I love blood and gore in video games, but real gore makes me super upset. And crows aren't so bad. Let's just go with gore disgust me. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to 
speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. You're the doctor. Um... You know what? Spiders are spiders are bros. It's still snakes. I mean, I don't like spiders in my house or in my room. Uh, nah. I'm not afraid of needles. Let's just go with gore still. Oh, scarecrows over zombies easily. And gore over dogs. Dogs are fine. I mean, I don't like dogs. I'm certainly not afraid of them. And gore still scarier than storms. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, scarecrows, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I look forward to hearing from you, Dr. Hill. You're a charming gentleman. <laughs>